Hello, uh, another Tubas High Score Challenge from me. Uh, this week the pick was um, Strider from Jason Rivers, aka Retro Restart. Let's get cracking. So, Strider, what can I say? A good game, uh, another frustrating one from my point of view. I think the only frustrating part was the uh, the jumping around, uh, trying to get onto platforms. I don't know if it's me, uh, well it obviously is me because I've seen some other videos uh, from some of the other tubers and they've managed it quite well. Um, I think one guy, um, uh, he hasn't submitted his actual uh, run yet, but uh, he uh, one credited this um, and uh, an excellent video uh, of on um, Facebook. I'll, uh, I'll paste it into the description afterwards. Check it out. It's great stuff. So, I got pretty good at this first level. Um, dodging, jumping, killing, collecting uh, updates. This platform, um, you can either sort of slaughter this guy and then dodge the fire, or if you build up some speed, you can actually bypass it. I guess for the extra points, uh, it seems a bit pointless uh, uh, bypassing him. So, uh, you might as well. Jumping about, hanging from stuff, um, collecting points from power-ups. As I said, you've got these little uh, sort of robots that follow you around. Um, I think I think it's three. If you collect three of them uh, on your fourth um, collection, uh, if you pick it up, it turns into some kind of robot dog. Uh, but then if that dog gets hit, I think it um, knocks back into three um, sort of little robots again. Um, very useful for these uh, sort of climbers um, and things that are just out of reach of your blade. Um, Power-ups include uh, points, life, um, a sword extension, um, or as I said, these dogs. I've not seen anything else. Oh, I know, tell a lie, this, there is an extra life uh, that you can collect as well. So, um, as I said, it's relatively easy, this game. Um, it had... I don't know if there's anybody else that's played it. Um, the, the, the sort of the, the frustration—you you know it's easy, you can do it—but um, the more you get frustrated, the the, 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 the more difficult the game gets. Um, I found myself jumping, trying to jump straight up, or trying to grab a platform, and uh, missing, either dying by falling off something, or or having to start an entire uh, section again because you sort of landed where you shouldn't do um, but I'd, I mean I just switched it off um, and then you, uh, uh, I switched this for this particular one I switched it back on last night Friday 24 um, and I managed to do a lot better so I thought well no, no more time so uh, let's get cracking with this this. So, there's a lot of jumping about, there's a lot of bouncing between platforms. Um, this is another frustrating uh, sort of section. Again, you know that these stones with the spikes are going to get you, but yet you jump all over them anyway. Pick up the health, as you can see there's a health drop there. If you pick up the health and you've already got full health, I think it gives you another box. Sure it does. Don't do like I did on this uh, this first level, just jump down. Um, same as I said, build up momentum and jump over that crevasse as well, because that's just annoying in itself. Instead of loitering, I should have... Uh, yeah, I shouldn't have died there, I should have carried on to the top. A few more points. So this second stage is quite good. Um, there's points to pick up here, dodge the lightning. And kill, uh, kill this uh, sort of robot walker. Pick up the extra life. It's only available there once. You die at this stage and then go back and it turns to points. <clears throat> Try to dodge that lightning, as I said. Don't be a numpty like that. Okay, another frustrating section from, from my point of view. Um, these bombs, you've got to dodge them. I don't know, it depends where you stand uh, to where they fall, I think. Uh, but if you get hit, obviously you lose a uh, bit of health. 
and it ends up um, knocking you off the platform, the, the sort of um, levitating car, taxi, whatever you want to call it. Um, if you die, you start back from the top of that platform where, where I first jumped. What you're going to do is get onto this airship, um, or whatever it is, this flying fortress. Um, so just keep dodging these bombs. Don't do, don't make the same mistake as I did here. Obviously, this bit, this is the frustrating bit. I know what I've got to do. I just can't do it. Okay, hang on to the underside of that. Don't drop down there. Jump over it. No. Okay, so hang. Don't drop down. Quite, quite straightforward. Yep, there you go. Completely dropped off the platform. Okay. So this bit, for some strange reason, stumped me for ages. And, and the jumping is just the, the, the so frustrating when you're trying to jump. You know what you've got to do. I just can't do it. more I can say about this, other than just jump. There you go. Right, so blow this tower up, and you've got these three ninja girls that come at you. Um, flying guy, come out, take these girls out. And that's the end of stage two. 8,000 points, happy with this. So I'm into new ground now, not done this, this is the first time I've got to this uh, next stage. Um, obviously I've seen it on other videos, but obviously watching is different from doing. Take out these guns. by a big gun. Okay, so this one. There's a lot of clinging to walls, hanging upside down. Killing stuff. The sword extension. There is actually one of the power up which uh, you'll see in this video. You collect it and um, it's like a um, multiple versions of a strider and drop off the tower again oh, that's two lives I've lost two lives where I've been a complete and utter numpty this is the part so you get multiple striders I seem to have to climb up this wall though. Kill this robot. See, I wouldn't have lost this life. This life coming up, if I have uh, done a bit of uh, Spider-Man acrobatics, because I know the wall's going to crush me, but then I decided at the last minute to do it. It's... I'm... oh, speechless. There you go, jump a bit quicker, you sorted. You like with this robot you numpty. Watch out for these little things. You see that thing just off the screen now that I've just jumped and it's landed past. You tread on that, it launches you off the end of uh, edge of the um, the ship. You'll see in a minute. See? Um, they've got them all the way down here as well. It's three in total. It'll launch you off the edge if you're not careful. A nightmare. Oh no, there's two, sorry. There's three. 
Okay, so this is the part where you, you're pretty much upside down. Climbing around. And you pretty much just gotta you just gotta kinda let go and then orbit the um, the boss and just keep keep attacking him. Um, this, to be fair, I found quite easy. It's the numpty mistake that I make in a minute that's you know what I mean it's and, and again I should have known this this had happened because I've watched a few videos. Um, it's blowing up, don't loiter, because if you loiter, as you can see, the ship explodes. You die, you lose your life. If I hadn't have lost those other two lives for numpty mistakes, then I'd have probably got a bit further on this. So, happy with this run. Gonna submit it for this week. Uh, it gives me more time to do other stuff. Um, thinking of doing some Amstrad videos. Not sure. Um, what do you think? Um, a few games. AV8. Final score. 36,100.